All right, in this video tutorial, we're going to introduce several new tags and talk about the block versus inline and reference that again. Now, I have a simple page with the header one tag and a paragraph tag, and I'm gonna introduce a new paragraph after this paragraph. So I'll just do a new paragraph tag. This is the second paragraph, and I'll close that paragraph tag and save. And I'm gonna come back to my browser and refresh. Now you can just press the refresh button here. If you're on a Macintosh, you can press Command R, which refreshes the page. If you're on a PC computer, it's usually F5 will refresh the web page. And so once you refresh the web page, it just reloads the contents that you just edited. So I, I made a change. You save, Command S to save or file save, come back to your web browser and refresh, Command R, and that will load those changes. So you can see that change just popped up here. I've got my second paragraph in my website. And notice that the paragraph didn't appear to the left here. It appeared below the other paragraph. What this tells me is that the paragraph is a block tag because it's occupying this entire line all the way across the web browser. And this paragraph is occupying this entire line. And the heading, in fact, is occupying this entire line all the way across, even though the text is only this big. All three of these tags, the two paragraph tags and the heading tags are block level tags, which is why they appear below the other tag. Now we'll look at an example of an inline tag to illustrate how those differ. So on this particular paragraph, I'm gonna add an inline tag directly to this word paragraph. And I'm gonna add the strong tag. So I open strong before paragraph and after paragraph, I'm gonna close strong and strong simply adds a bold type face by default to the, the contents here. So I'm gonna save that, Command S, switch to my browser, Command R to refresh or F5. And you can see now that word is bold. Now I know this is an inline tag because it didn't force that word down on a new line. If this was a block level tag, it would have appeared down on its own line, but instead it's inline, so it just applied the effect directly to this same line. It didn't alter the flow of the document there. So that's kind of a quick example of the difference between inline that we covered earlier in the slides. Now, while we're on strong, we have to talk about its oft used sibling tag, which is emphasis, and that's EM. So I'm gonna add an emphasis of, of the website. I'm gonna close the emphasis right after that and save. And EM adds emphasis, which in our case italicizes text. So strong does bold and emphasis does italics. 